Hello, everybody. I'm extremely Hello. happy to see you, but let's wait a couple of minutes. More people are coming, more people will join us, okay? Hello. 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 Okay, my dear, I guess we can start. So hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Aliona, and today we are going to spend our lesson, our one hour and a little bit more together. So guys, how are you doing? Are you safe and sound? Sure. Yes, maybe yes. Maybe yes. Happy to hear that. If you're mm -hmm. here, that you're okay. And I'm really happy for you. So guys, tell me please, what's your second uh, week of work going on? Well, it's pretty difficult, but still, uh, those who are able to stay in safety, they are in safety. But it's a, a very pity that it's. We, as I cannot find any explanations to our strikes towards uh, the birth house in Mariupol. Okay, totally agree with you, guys. What about you? How do you cope with emotions? How do you feel uh, so, about you? Um... As I talk about me, everything is cool. Now I say in somebody is Okay, so uh, I will continue. Uh, now I stay in house with 25 people, with 10 dogs and three cats. And to be honest, it's it's interesting experience. And uh, I hope that everything will finish in the next month, next month, this month. Okay, so, I see. Guys, do it. Uh, are you trying to stay positive, optimistic? Yes. Yes, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Do you still believe in our victory? Yes. 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 <laughs> Definitely. Okay, guys. So, uh, okay, my dear. So, uh, today we are going to talk about what? Both animals. 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 Mm -hmm. Animals. Yeah, exactly. You follow our news. And on our, uh, by the way, guys, before we start, I want to uh, type what cities you are from. I forgot about it. So I'm Alona from Kiev. I will type Kiev. What about you? Odessa. Uh huh. Can you type it? Odessa, Lviv, Kiev. Mm -hmm. I'm from Lviv. Mm -hmm. Kiev. A lot of people from Kiev. Sorry, do you hear me? Uh, Czech Republic, mm -hmm. her soul region, her soul we are with you. Mm -hmm. Južno-Ukrajinsk. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Rivne. Okay, my dear. So uh, nice to see it. And guys, on our thank you so much for it. On our lesson, we are going to need online worksheet. I will send you this worksheet on our Zoom chat in a couple of seconds. Uh, first of all, tell me, please, uh, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Do yeah. you feel like this cat? Yes. 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 Exactly. Exactly. So kind of. Kind of. Uh, in, you are going to open task number one, and in task number one, you are going to have five questions. Your task is to discuss these questions with your partners in your breakout room. For this task, you will have about 10 minutes, 10 or so, and uh, I'm sending you link on Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. Please open it and tell me if it works. Mm -hmm. Does it work? It yeah, it works. Yeah. What task do we need? The first. Number task one. number one. Mm -hmm. uh, so speak with your partners in your breakout room. Give me one second to divide you. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Good luck, guys. Okay, my dear, welcome back home. Thank you so much for such cool and hot discussion. Hello, everybody who was late. So uh, tell me, please, who has got a cat, dog, a pet, a pet at home? Show me any reaction. Mm -hmm. Alina, I see that you have got camels. <laughs> These are your... alpacas. They're yeah, alpacas, al actually, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, guys, who has got any unusual pets? Like many, maybe guinea pigs, maybe some snakes. I've got yeah. squirrels at home. <laughs> yeah, they are tamed and they are really nice. But if they bite, you're like dying because it's uh, terrible. Mm -hmm. So guys, tell me please, how do you take care of your animals these days? How do you support them? 
how do you help them to survive? Maybe just they... love them. Oh, this is cool. Do you cuddle them enough? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I guess they, uh, they are like babies, so it is necessary to hold them and uh, hug them uh, the same way as a child, with a child. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, Mariana, you want to add something? No, I just uh, raised my hand because of uh, I had a pet. Uh -huh. Because you have it. I see. So guys, tell me please, are the animals in danger right now? What do you think? Are there yes, a lot mm -hmm. of people and the animal also in a danger now. And we, for example. For example, what? Uh, what, what, da what danger? Uh, for, for example, right. animals in uh, animal shelter serious yeah. shelter in kiev region mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately there are three thousand animals and uh, there is a lack of uh, workers to provide or volunteers to provide uh, uh, relevant uh, food uh, care for them and mm -hmm. uh, for example there are some there are a few uh, zoos uh, exactly in the city Mm -hmm. So there will be there will be an issue raised uh, a bit later of how to evacuate all the animals. Okay, totally. Um, thank you. Maria. Okay, my dear, thank you so much for your discussion. Uh, for people who were late, I will send a link again. But now I want you to introduce task number two. In task number two, you have got some news about animals that were happening these days. Your task is to read the news and to match picture with the news. So in this task, you work individually. You are going to work with task number two. I'm sending link on our Zoom chat in case you were late. Mm -hmm. Can you see the link? Yeah. No, task number two individually, three minutes. Are you ready? Could you explain me and display the girl? Who is it? Uh, sorry? Display the girl. Yes, done. In the first sentence. A refugee. A refugee. Re ah, refugee. Refugee. Refugees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, guys. Uh, I see that you are ready. Uh, you are welcome to press check and tell me if everything is green. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. Correctly. Yeah. Have you uh, heard about this news before? Uh, no. No. <laughs> Never before. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel when you read such news? Do you feel sorry for these animals? What are your emotions? It's very sad to hear this kinds of news. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Guys, in number three, you have got two questions. 
uh, how can you explain people's uh, such people's behavior like caring about uh, animals and uh, have you heard any new stories about animals these days? You're going to work with your partners and you have got about five, six minutes for this task. Guys, everybody has a worksheet or should I resend? Everybody has, but I will resend like just in case. So task number three with your partners, you have got about five, six minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear, sorry for bothering you. I hope you had enough time to share opinions with your partners. So will you share me any interesting stories you heard about animals, pets these days? Maybe like, something happened to your friends, acquaintances. Yeah, for example, yeah, my uh, one of my acquaintances, uh, yeah, she's pretty young, yeah, but she had to go to Poland to her friend, by, by and take two cats with her. Yeah, it was a very difficult road. Yeah, because uh, the uh, railway station was overcrowded. Yeah, and uh, she couldn't even answer the phone. Yeah, and uh, it was difficult to cross the border. Yeah, because uh, when the war started, she didn't know what to do and where to leave the, her two cats. What to do with her two? Okay, as I, uh, so did she manage to get to Poland? Yes, to get? yes, yeah, because she has a friend there and she managed to go because it's a very difficult to find the shelter uh, for those who have pets. Okay, thank you, Alexander. Max, what do you want to add? Yeah, I think like there, there is a very famous story these days about a man who carried his uh, old uh, German shepherd over the Polish border and he carried it for 30 kilometers like on his shoulder yeah so yeah i think it's it's like it's it's very staunch um to, like to carry uh, about something like like this especially if it is your dog i take my head off such people you know yeah. i i think you do as well okay my dear so uh, we are going to watch with you one video with you about animals in zoos these days. But before we start watching this video, I would like to introduce you some interesting vocabulary from this video. So guys, you are going to work with your partners and in task number four, you have got some interesting words that you will uh, see in video and translation. What you need to do is to match words with translation. For example, let's start with something super easy. What about frontline? Frontline is Peredova. So you match together. When you are ready, you are welcome to press check and see if you are right or not. So guys, work individually. Oh, sorry, not individually. Work with your partners. Task number four. You have got about two, three minutes. Okay, boss. <laughs>
Okay, my dear, thank you so much. How was it? Green? Not everything. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. That's wonderful. Guys, did you use Google Translator or you like use your partner's brain and your brain? No, Google Translator. <laughs> Only one. Yeah, right. Brains and exceptional <laughs> methods. Exceptional method. Definitely. It's like it helps. Yeah. If you know just a few words, you can you can like you can use this method of exceptions. Yeah. That's wonderful. So guys, let's look at pronunciation of this word and I will read and you will repeat after me. You can be muted or you can be unmuted, it's up to you, but the most important to listen how to pronounce is correct, it correctly. So, uh, troops. 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 Russian troops. Russian, Russian troops. troops. Do, do you like this word, troops? Yeah. yeah, sounds nice. Yeah. Nice. Maybe yes. Warren. Warren. Yeah, but, but Ukrainian troops. I, I adore yeah. it. Yeah, but I because it. But so when we talk about uh, warriors in yeah. general, that's a warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I like combination of Russian and troops, you know? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. The, the synonym soldiers, army, forces, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Just another way, another way to say. It. Sorry, Alena, uh, yeah. I interrupt you. That's uh, I'm so curious. That is like why you all the time uh, say like Maria after our session. Like, uh, okay, I'm not. I don't know why students are asking me this question very often because I say not Maria. I say my dear. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> questions I'm asked very very often. My dear, yeah, my dear. Okay, my dear. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. French. 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 Boost morale. Boost morale. Boost morale. Boost morale. Front line. Front line. Front line. Value. Value. Valued asset. 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 Valued asset. Valued asset. Valued asset. Possible. 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 More of them, yes. Maybe we Maybe should one, uh, hour, don't know. one hour per scene of them. Okay, 60%. I, I haven't heard uh, about Boon and uh, Soleil, I would say. Trench. Trench. I've never heard this one and so. It's okay. That's why you're here. Okay, my dear. So let's have practice of this wonderful words. I saw that some of you had already started. And guys, in task number five, you are going to work individually and you need to complete the sentences with one word. For example, 10 of thousands of soldiers uh, died at the... Front line. Front line. Front line. Exactly. Work individually. When you are ready, you are welcome to press check. Mm -hmm. Individually, task number five. Okay. Tens of thousands of soldiers died at the front line. Uh, indeed, this time. It will be like, you, uh, you need enough time to think individually.
when you're ready guys you're welcome to tell me or uh, type plus already in our chat in our chat box Mm -hmm. Finish up, please. Is everybody ready? I hope so. So guys, you're welcome to press check. And if you have mistake, question or problem, you're welcome to ask me. I will try to help you. Do you agree with answers? Yeah, I have not a lot of <laughs> right answers. Not a lot of, correct. Okay, Not so you have homework to learn these words. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I understand the words, but in the context, it is difficult to me to compare, I see. Okay, I see. Okay, guys, maybe questions, I can help you. Tell me the number. Okay, if you have no questions, now we are going to watch a video with this vocabulary. So all of these words you will see in this video and I, I hope it will help you to understand video better. So guys, uh, unfortunately I couldn't find video only in English, so you will hear some Ukrainian here, but uh, don't listen sometimes because you have got here English uh, subtitles, English phrases, so you're welcome more to read. Because in this video you will see, you will hear some Ukrainian phrases. So let's start. Mm -hmm. Sorry, can you share uh, the link again? Uh, um, now you don't need a link. Now you need to look uh, to see my screen. Okay, mm -hmm. I will send okay. you later. Now look at my screen and let's watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you make it on the full screen? Yeah, sure. У нее хороший слух, как у каждой собаки, но с ней надежнее, же говорю, ходить на пост в плане вот, какой-то зверье, там, без разницы, даже вот, даже если вот на крайняк -то, противник тот же на подходе, она сразу гавкает, рычит, ну, с ней Ведь. намного надежнее и спокойнее. Было 
просто так ты пришел, допустим, с поста и лягаешь на кровать, и приходит даже та сама чернуха, она выходит лягать ее на живот, и типа гладь меня выкидает свой телефон, получи меня погладь. Она типа как-то спокойно действует. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you like managed to understood words that we have just worked with you. And now I have you one question. Uh, question you can see in task number in task number seven. What is the role of pets on a front line? So uh, you can answer this question according to the video, or you can just add your own thoughts. It's up to you. So question in task number seven. You are going to work with your partners and you have got about five minutes for this task. One moment. Good luck. Okay, my dear, thank you so much for discussion. So did you manage to make up any other important roles of animals on a front line? Minor fields, for example. Yes, they are able to define them. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Taras. What else? What power give, uh, boost our power and uh, like, and also we just, uh, 
uh, was asking that it can be like a reliable friend. And... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, totally agree. So when you, are, uh, when you are on the front line, it's essential to uh, keep your nerves steady. Uh, yeah. And uh, that is why uh, like animals, they prevent uh, soldiers from uh, like uh, sticking to their phones constantly mm -hmm. reading the news so they are distracting directly like pushing away uh, phones and distracting yeah. from bad news maria thank you so much for such cool idea mm -hmm. and it's else? i think um, animal can help in the future or now to supper groups mm -hmm. okay thank you andrew they can pr protect our weapons from being spoiled by mice and rats yeah uh-huh or find dinner in such a way okay wonderful guys thank you so much for such cool ideas in the beginning of the lesson you mentioned that these days zoos are suffering as well um and uh, have you heard news about kiev zoo maybe people from kiev there is no no yes i heard this news Heard. Uh, yeah, yes, that uh, animals there are uh, uh, un under danger right now mm -hmm. because uh, not enough workers for them. There are not enough food and uh, water. So um, yeah, I've heard, I I've seen this news that the workers are begging to to anybody to bring the food and uh, the water there if it's possible. Yeah, by the way, guys, not only zoos are suffering these days, for example, there is a zoo market near a place where I live, and there is an announcement that they are ready to give uh, any uh, pets like hamsters, like fish, like parrots in good hands. So if people want, the uh, zoo markets are ready to give just for free these pets to find good people to take care uh, after them. Okay, so guys, we are going to read one short text about the situation in Kiev Zoo. Uh, these days and it is going to be task number eight you are going to work individually uh, just with this text you have got five six minutes and guys you have got some difficult words so you're welcome to look at the translation in case you don't know these words so individually task number eight five six minutes let's start
Ready? One more time. I didn't know about uh, Kharkiv's zoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Such unfortunate news. Yeah. Kharkiv zoo, Khar as Kharkiv city is damaged, zoo is damaged as well, unfortunately. By the way, okay. I'm from Kharkiv, I've heard that uh, the lion or some wild animals is going in the street. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and like... Uh, yeah, also, so far, far, no, they're not going in the city, they're in the district and went, uh, I don't know in which district, uh, no, okay, in Kharkiv region, uh, wild wolves, they, okay. uh, they also going. And I uh, like the, it, it's a kind of uh, joke was, they eat just uh, Russians. <laughs> it's a good joke, you know? <laughs> yeah. Okay, my dear, thank you so much for reading this text. Uh, in task number nine, you have got four questions to this text. Your task is to join your partners and just answer these four questions. Uh, answers you may find in the previous task in the text. So you work with your partners and you have got about five, six minutes to discuss these questions in task number nine. Give me one second to change your partners. So good luck. Five, six minutes. Okay, my dear, thank you so much for your discussion, for answering the questions. Tell me, please, did you manage to answer all questions? Yes. 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 Most of them. Almost, yeah. Okay, I see. Exception I... last. Except because you didn't have time? Yeah. Okay, I see. Sorry. Because of teamwork, <laughs> we made it. Okay, I see. So, my dear, thank you so much for such wonderful, positive and uh, wonderful lesson. Guys, I wish you to stay happy, healthy and positive. Take care of yourself and of your pets, if you have any. Guys, uh, keep uh, updated with our news. We will have these lessons more and more. So, I will be happy to see you maybe again in my life, because you are really great. If you have questions for me, you are more than welcome. Have you got any? Yeah, I have a question uh, regarding also... vocabulary. Uh, what's the difference be between uh, to exhibit and uh, to recognize? Uh, okay, exhibit is just more advanced word, I would say. And recognize we usually use with uh, people. I didn't recognize you. 
exhibit we don't use with people. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And what is this, uh, uh, this facility like? Sprawling facility? I didn't get. Sprawling. Um, uh, uh, is it partially, from partially destroyed? Like okay, because oh, fall, of, fallen, fallen into pieces. Mm -hmm. No, no, not partially so destroyed. Harsh. It's like uh, uh, the made of a couple of like branches, like have many departments within its structure. Yeah, uh, resolutely. I mean, like uh, a lot of uh, parts. Uh -huh. Big one, big mm -hmm. one. Okay. It's not about destroyed. It's big one with a lot of de uh, departments, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Anything else I can help you yes. with? Uh, what about the word collateral? It's like uh, the whole damage. It was. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me where you found? Co collateral. Collateral. Mm -hmm. Zeus have often been collateral uh, damage in war around the world. It's uh, uh, in text, like the beginning of the second part. Just it's like uh, casualties, uh, death pe uh, dead people, or destroyed facilities, uh, like oh, conducted not on purpose. Oh well, yes, yeah, the, 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 the one not intended to be done. Um, okay. It's not the target. It's not the target, but unfortunately, uh, like was dest were destroyed. Like cos. Like cosvina, not in uh, purpose. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. In addition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not in purpose. Okay, guys, you are welcome to learn new vocabulary. You are welcome to use this vocabulary in your real life. And again, thank you so much for wonderful. I have lesson. one more. Yes. Question, but it's uh, not about this lesson. It's about yeah. um, uh, learning in green forest. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I have a message. I think I have about new courses in yeah. fourteen uh, March. Yeah. Uh, starts. Uh, I understand correctly. Now we have a lot of groups which uh, freeze. Yes. Yeah, but, mm -hmm. but uh, you started new groups. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you want to start studying with these groups, you, I will. Uh, one moment, I will send you a telegram uh, and phone number. You can contact this number, and they will help you to start learning with a new group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how about uh, freeze groups? For example, I uh, bought, bought a course, but uh, I should bought. Uh, Administrator should help course. you. Uh, I, I'm sure you don't need to buy a new one. You will may maybe you will start with like not from the beginning, maybe from the middle of semester. But administrators will help. They know more than me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sophia. Uh, 